G'day everybody, Ed here, and I want to uh, take you on this next stage of getting to use Twitter. We show, we've showed you how to get your own account, and we've showed you uh, the basics of how the Twitter website looks, but honestly, I very rarely, if ever, go back to the Twitter website, because there are so many better ways to be using Twitter than going back to the website to take a message. In fact, that's a bit crazy because obviously if you are in the process of doing something and you want to tweet about it, you disconnect and you interrupt that operation, which is crazy. And that's why so many other services have not worked. One of the secrets to Twitter working is that you can do it without interrupting whatever you're doing, uh, which is very, very, very cool. So for example, once you're all set up and have your account, you can go into our good old Flock browser here, and there are two places where we can actually add Twitter services so that you can uh, use them from the Flock browser, which is very cool. The first one is I'll, I'm going to show you the inbuilt, if you will, version. Uh, and if you click on the Open People sidebar, which I just clicked then, in fact, you'll see that uh, my Twitter uh, is already obviously already in there and you can see people I'm following their latest entry is already there which is very very cool now I could for example if I wanted to uh, make a change in Twitter I wanted to do a tweet I could do this there we are and I can literally hit the enter boom updated done don't have to do anything else. The functionality is built right here into the browser. And I can see what uh, Nez has been doing. He's been chatting with John Reese. Uh, Lynn Terry has uh, been replying to somebody. Paul Collingwood with a huge piece of news today. And this is what I love about Twitter is news travels so fast and you get it first on Twitter always. Uh, the quick.com is coming to the iPhone, which is huge, huge news. Well, so look it up yourself and, and see it is brilliant. Uh, you can see I'm following the Mars Phoenix thing. This is the most brilliant use of Twitter ever. Uh, they keep you updated from the, you know, it's from the Mars Phoenix thing and it just is absolutely amazing. So that's one very cool way of doing it. You can also uh, hit this post a link button and it'll automatically take you to your Twitter page as you can see here, and it'll actually take the link of whatever page you're using. Now I've got to say, I don't use that functionality because one, you can see there, look at that, that's a classic example. Look at that URL, it's ugly. If people got that in a message, they just think, what's that? You know, and they wouldn't click on it. It would be absolutely no use whatsoever. So I don't use that, there's a much better, better feature. So I'm going to get a uh, click out of that and I'm going to use this twirl Google search because you can see how long it is. And I'm going to use an extension that we actually used and loaded up when we were doing the, the extension load ons, the add ons, if you remember. Now, this one is called Twitter Bar. So, first, I'm going to have to show you how to set that up. So, if you go into the tool menu and you go to the add ons section, now, this may well be in a slightly different place in Windows, but it, it works exactly the same. Uh, but you need to find the add-ons section. You click on add-ons, give it a second, and you'll see there are all my uh, add-ons here. And the one I want to look for is Twitter bar. Now, for some reason, uh, Flock says Twitter bar doesn't work with it, but it does and works fine. I haven't had a problem with it. So it says it's not compatible, but it is. It works fine. So I don't know what's going on there. Flock community people, you need to make sure Twitter bar is good because it, it, I'm going to show to you why it's so good. So we click on preferences and you can see here that it pops up a dialog box. You take your Twitter username and password and put that in. And you can see here, you can use a before URL. So I have currently browsing because I only pretty much use the Twitter bar for um, showing a page that I want people to have a look at. Uh, 
Now you can choose to open Twitter in a new tab after posting. I don't, again, because I know it works and I don't want to be taken away out of the flow of what I'm doing. One of the most important things about Twitter is the flow. You can use Twitter without being taken out of your workflow and that is so important. That is one of the huge advantages of Twitter and one that most people don't even talk about. So that's why I don't do that. And hide address bar button, which uh, I don't want to because we need the address bar button. We need it to be there. So you just need to fill in these pieces of information and you'll be off to the races. So I'm not going to touch anything because mine's already set up. Okay, so we'll just close that off. So for example, I'm going to go up here and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually click on the actual twirl page because that's going to be a more useful tweet for people that are uh, going and following this, this lesson. Okay, and I'm also going to close the people bar now because I don't, uh, don't need that to uh, happen. So here we are, we're at twirl. Now, I'm going to type a message up in this address bar. This is the site. Now, you can see here, which is very cool, I, it tells me how many characters I've got left because when you do a tweet, it's 140 characters. It's a bit like an SMS or text message, depending on what part of the world you're from, which is another part of its brilliance, which we'll explain later. All I have to do then is click, and that's posting to Twitter. And the cool thing is, it's just asking me for authorization. So I click OK. And I've just come to my Twitter homepage. Oh, look at that. There he is, currently browsing http12.org. This is the site to go to to download the best Twitter code. All done, and all done from the address bar, which is really, really, really cool. So there are two ways to not use Twitter at all and still use Twitter, which is fantastic, and not have to go back to this homepage. Now, what I want to show you in the client, and I'm just going to show you how to download it in this video, and then we're going to show you how to use it in the next video. This Twirl client makes using t Twitter just so fantastic and so usable and so manageable. It's just absolutely superb. And the great thing about it, it's built on the Adobe Air platform. All that means, and all you have to worry about that meaning, is I don't care whether you're on Linux, Mac, PC, it doesn't matter, it'll work right across the board. So it's brilliant, and anytime you see Adobe Air applications, it means it's completely cross-platform, which is really, really cool. And they usually are beautifully designed as well, which is fantastic. So they also install very cleverly. So I'm gonna take you through now and show you how to do the Twirl install. So we'll click on Twirl, and you can see by just clicking there, it's a uh, download and open the air file to begin the installation. So we just need to literally click there and that's downloading. You can see here it's popping, popping up. I've just got a tweet on my phone. You can see there, I don't know if you can pick that up. That's from Paul Colligan saying the, uh, the quick.com iPhone announcement has made me giddy. And so it should, it's a huge piece of news. But you see, I get my twit Twitter up on my iPhone and frankly, once you're used to Twitter, I don't want you to do this straight away, but once you're used to it, my goodness, so powerful, so, so powerful. Okay, so would you like to open or save this file? We wanna open it because we wanna install. Now I may get a different, slightly different message to you because it's already installed on my system. See, the same version of the application you opened already exists on the system. Would you like to run the version already installed? Uh, you can run now or uninstall. All you have to do is follow the prompts here and it just is very, very simple to install. And what will happen is up will pop, twirl. So here we are. And uh, it looks as though <laughs> Twitter might be having a little bit of a problem, which is funny. I have here my friend feed inside of twirl. Don't worry about friend feed yet. Amazing application. Perhaps it could even fight with Twitter for being the most important internet marketing uh, tool developed this year. But um, yeah, it looks so uh, Twirl might be, uh, oh, I, okay. Twirl, ha to protect the system, Twirl has exploded in terms of its usage. Uh, massive, huge, huge usage. 
and they're bluntly struggling to pick up. And you might have seen a bit of press on this, and you might say, well, Twitter is a bit crazy. Let me tell you, folks, I've been around for a while when it comes to information technology. <laughs> Email, when it first came out, cast your minds back to 1992. 1991, how reliable was email? It was hit and miss. Logging onto the internet, that was, you had to sacrifice chickens back in 1994 to get onto the internet. It was it was crazy. Instant messaging when it first came out. ICQ, who remembers when ICQ first came out, uh, which now became AAOL instant message. How unreliable was that? It's crazy, they all go through teething teething phases anything we release goes through teething phases so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the basics of twirl set up now what will happen because again I have this set up um, we need to go to our settings menu and this is actually the screen that will come up when you first install because you'll have no clients ready. Now, all you have to do, you can see here, all you have to do is enter in your screen name here in this section and then click add. Now your screen name, remember, is your Twitter username, the one that you chose. And that's literally it, that's how easy. Uh, for those of you who are wanting to be girly swats and getting into friend feed, you would just choose friend feed in that drop down box. You can have multiple Twitter accounts, which is also very handy. You can see there I've got Frank Kearns VW. Shh, don't tell him. You can do that as as well. You can have multiple Twill accounts. And this can be very handy for your private personal stuff and also the stuff that goes out in whatever marketing persona that you happen to have as well. At the moment, I would literally keep it to um, just yourself and keep it very remember those following you know follow Dan follow myself if you know somebody on Twitter already and they're going to be part of your team and so on if you're just starting if you're if you're a bit of a veteran of Twitter forget all that go for it but if you're just starting out and this is your first experience of Twitter I want to make it I want it to take you on baby steps so you get used to it because what a lot of people do is they get excited they start following hundreds of people and all of a sudden it's just a mess. It's just a total, total mess. And that's a real problem. So I just want you to start off slow because this is so important. I cannot get across to you how important Twitter is. It is massively important. And you need to be able to use it and get a good experience using it because I'd hate for you to think, oh, this is rubbish and then ignore it because it would be to your marketing devastation for you to do that. Understand me, I've made it clear. How more important can I make it clear? It is of huge, huge importance. So with that, join me on the next video as we start to show you how to actually use Twirl and we will get uh, we will get cracking. So go download Twirl now, install your Twitter username account and then we will get cracking on the next part of this process. All right, speak to you soon.